My name is Nicholas J. Fuentes, and I believe that the people of the United States have a right to self-determination. My reason for going down to Charlottesville over the weekend was to demonstrate. It was to show solidarity for a cause which has not been talked about in the mainstream media, which the American people never got a vote on, and that is the fundamental transformation of the composition of our country. I was supposed to be entering Boston University for my sophomore year, but in response to recent death threats and threats against my physical safety, I decided that that might not be the best idea. And since I attended the Charlottesville rally, and really since I started to become a vocal supporter of President Trump, even during the election in 2016, I started to receive a number, a good number of death threats, threats against my physical safety, and really just a general ostracism on campus. You talk to women, conservative women even, and you try and tell them this, like, hey, you know, I, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid to express my opinions, I never have been, but when you start receiving death threats to the extent that I have, it just becomes a liability to my brand, to my academic success and everything else, when you do have to worry about people ganging up on you or whatever. It it's disturbing to me the level of hate that people have been able to express and been able to feel against someone they've never met, never saw, never had a conversation with. They say that we're the hateful ones, we're the bigots, and I get messages all day long from people I've never met telling me what a terrible person I am. There's no hate on this side, I hate no one. I would never do anything like that, and so I, I think it's a little bit upsetting that the political climate is the way it is. The ideas that I express, I arrive to based on reading, based on listening to philosophers or thought leaders, and what I say is for the benefit of the country. And I think for the entire political left to decide that anybody to the right of Franklin D. Roosevelt is a Nazi that must be exterminated and beaten and killed and viscerally hated without even being listened to, I think that is probably the most problematic part and perhaps the catalyst for the sort of political violence you're seeing in America today.